It is Avaya from Scrappy Mania and today I'm going to show you a different technique. If you've been following me on my in my YouTube channel, I showed you how to create your own glimmer mist made out of printer ink. I also show you how you can take get fabric, um, canvas, any type of fabric, cotton fabric, and how using a product called Stiffy you can create your own paper made out of fabric. Then I showed you how by doing that you can go ahead and use your stamp to go ahead and stamp around the fabric and create your own scrapbooking paper made of fabric. And here's a, and a layout that I use multiple technique. This one is the one with my, I showed you how to use the Cricut to cut out embellishments and flowers for your pages. I also show you how to create Glimmer Glam, which is just it's just um, Glimmer Mist with some um, what's it called glitter, and you get like a glitterly page. And I also showed you how you can go ahead and create these ruffles and things like that. Well, today I'm going to show you how using all those technique. You can create a scrapbook page using your Photoshop element or your Photoshop and um, you can create digital pages. So here's one and actually you can do a hybrid because um, this is the background. I can glimmer mist it. I can use my um, embellishments. I can put butterflies, flowers, whatever I want to do. I can even put um, photo mats on here or even create my own photo mat. Look how cute that will be if I create my own photo mat made out of canvas. I, I spritz it and like this and put it on there. That will look very cute. So here's one and if you use white fabric you can use all the different colors of your digital page. You can even print a whole digital page on here. Here's another one that I created. This, these are using digital stamps. And this one is a um, Ali Edwards digital stamp called Capture the Moments of Life. Okay. And this is, it, it's not dirty. What you see underneath is the grunge look. And I put a photo mat, grunge photo mat as a background. Here's another one that I created called Sweet Memories and these are digital brushes that you can use on your page using your Photoshop element and if you visit the YouTube there's a lot of tutorials on how to create digital pages and that's not what I'm going to teach you today I'm going to teach you how to have this so once you get your fabric you know you go ahead and use your stiffy and then the next thing you're going to do is you need a carrier sheet so what I did is I have a, a 12 by 12 cardstock as the base. I put, I use my ATG gun and I put some um, adhesive on the page. I try to use my um, what's the 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 repositional adhesive, but that didn't work. So you have to use something strong, like either um, an ATG or or you know strong double-sided tape okay so what are we gonna do oops is this page so let me see if you can see that image and I do have a wide printer but if you want to do the same thing you just need to you can do it on a on a regular printer it's just you cannot do it 12 by 12 you have to do it smaller than 12 by 12 so I'm gonna go ahead and select print our our paper. Okay, we're over here on the printer and I'm going to feed it through. You're going to make sure that your paper is exactly 12 by 12 or it could be smaller, but it cannot be bigger than 12 than bigger than your carrier sheet. So,
And there you have it. A gorgeous piece of 12 by 12 fabric paper that you can glimmer mist. Let me take it off the carrier. Let's see? You can glimmer mist this. You can put um, pictures on it, embellishments, whatever you want. You can even make a whole digital page with color um, and everything out of fabric paper. So I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope you get some inspiration and come back to see me for some more. Thank you. Bye.